Henry and Hetty's Christmas Adventure. It was Christmas Eve. Henry and Hetty were cleaning at the airport, which was very busy. The friends were excited as they were hoping Santa would be visiting them tonight. They had both been very good vacuum cleaners. However, there was still so much to clean. Suddenly, Hetty was lifted off her wheels. She had been mistaken for a suitcase and placed on the conveyor belt. Help Henry, she shouted. Henry jumped straight after Hetty. The two vacuums found themselves in a maze of moving luggage. Don't worry, Hetty, shouted Henry. I think we're heading for a new adventure. Hetty, said Henry. I think I know where we're going. After the plane had landed, the two vacuums wheeled out into a winter wonderland. I've never seen so much snow, beamed Hetty. Let's have some fun, smiled Henry. The friends played for ages. They made snowmen, went skiing, and even had a snowball fight. Then, all of a sudden, Hetty saw a sign to Santa's workshop. Henry and Hetty entered the workshop and looked in wonder. Wow, said Hetty. I hope Santa would visit us, but I never imagined we might visit him. As they made their way through the workshop, out popped Mrs. Claus. Wonderful, two vacuum cleaners, she said excitedly. I know someone who'd love to see you. She sent the pair to the reindeer shed, where Santa was all of a fluster. It's Christmas Eve and my sleigh hasn't been cleaned yet, said Santa most upset. Henry and Hetty smiled at each other. Leave it to us, Santa. My sleigh has never been so clean. To say thank you, I'll take you home on my sleigh tonight, beamed Santa with happiness. Henry and Hetty were even able to help Santa with his deliveries. It was the most magical ride at the end of their journey, Santa thanked Henry and Hetty for all their help and handed them a present each. I couldn't have done it without you both. Shall we do it again next year, said Santa, with a loud ho, ho, ho. As Henry and Hetty woke on Christmas morning, they couldn't wait to open their presents. This really has been the best Christmas adventure ever. Written and illustrated by Amy Rowe, on behalf of Pneumatic International Limited.